We are back and now to our occasional series of reports on the presidential candidates' families, looking tonight at Senator Barack Obama, who's made his life story and his upbringing a part of his campaign. He's written and spoken openly about the mother who raised him, the father who left him, both of whom, of course, left behind a big impression. NBC's Lee Cowan has our report tonight on family ties. I have not had uh, my parents now for uh, over a decade. The beginning of Barack Obama's improbable journey began with an improbable union. An African man named Barack and a white Kansan named Stanley Ann wed at the dawn of the 60s when interracial marriages were still illegal in many places. It lasted, though, just three short years and their lives not much longer. Obama's father was killed in a car accident in Africa in 1982. His mother, stricken with ovarian cancer, died in 1995. It would be wonderful to have the counsel of, uh, of parents. It would be wonderful to be able to admit mistakes uh, or just get some encouragement. Instead, he has to rely on what they left him, and each left him something very different. Obama's father abandoned him at age two. He left first for Harvard and eventually returned to his native Kenya. To this day, the elder Barack remains an example for the younger, but of how not to live. I watch myself for some of the things that I know ended up hurting him. Uh, too much pride, uh, an inability to listen to other people. The, th those are things that I guard against in myself. But in that fatherless void stood his young mother, who remained more influential than anyone. For example, when Brian Williams showed him on the cover of Newsweek for the very first time, the senator's reaction was not about himself. You know, it makes me think of my mom and, uh, and the fact that, you know, she's not around. We're all Obamacans. Obama's half-sister, Maya, remembers that there was little traditional about their mother. I think it is interesting to look at the patterns, how our mother started in the Midwest and ended up in Indonesia, and how he... Uh, started in Hawaii, in essence, and, and returned to the Midwest. Remember that? Uh -huh. And friends who knew <laughs> so Stanley Ann early school. see her in him so, all the time. The passion he brings, I think uh, a lot of that's something he learned from his mother's knee. Lessons that stuck when he needed them most. When I was writing that speech uh, on race. I'm the son of a black man from Kenya and a white woman from Kansas. Her memory loomed over me. Is this, is this something that she would trust? A reality check he still seeks. You know, at night, if I'm saying a prayer, uh, you know, I send out maybe a, a little message to my mother, and hopefully she's somewhere and can hear it. A quiet but heartfelt whisper over the noise of a presidential campaign. Lee Cowan, NBC News, New York.